probably got a deuce. What? Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Building Cartopolis. Yeah, we're back again today, and we're going to be working on the college campus. If you've seen, I've already put in a lot of roads here. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going to build a sidewalk coming in from the front entrance there. The first building we're going to do here is I want to do like a the main campus building. You know, you know the focus of what you see when you come in straight from the entrance. So what I thought I would do is, in this situation, I'm going to build, at the end of this sidewalk, I'm going to start building like a really nice, kind of old style Victorian type mansion here. So the first thing we want to do is, once we get this part laid out, is we want to start with a 10 by 9 little slab here. It's 10 across this way and then 9 up. Then fill all this in with your stone slabs. Just, you're going to use stone slabs because you want to be able to set up a different heights here. Just go back and forth and fill all this in. Then you come back in and I'm going to run another line down this way. Speed myself up here a little bit so this doesn't take forever. And, uh, I'm going to run in, make it four wide going all the way up. See, this is kind of going to be like the porch area of uh, the mansion here. Then you're going to come six by four out on each side here. Just go six up and then go four back. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to um, set a second level of the stone bricks just on this back part here. So just go. Cross, back up, back up this way, and there. So then, next thing you want to do is just have a little step right here in the front, and just make sure you leave two, come in two on each side there, and just go across one more line. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do after we do this part is we're going to get some quartz blocks and we're going to start on the uh, window areas here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and go six across on each side there. Come one in and then go six across. Leave your little opening there four in the center. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to go, oops, sorry, we're going to go five up. So count five, and then go two, skip two, and then go five up, and then do the same thing on the other side. And one, two, three, five. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to. That's right. Right here, we're going to pick some porch steps. Then we're gonna put them upside down, right here and right here. After that, yeah guys, while uh, we're doing this, you know, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, once again, I'd love to hear them. Okay, we're gonna go all the way across and close these windows and this doorway in right here. And like I was saying, if you, um, have any comments or suggestions or would like to see me, you know, work on something, uh, just leave it down below. And right here we're going to put the uh, dark stained glass in the windows. And that's what the, you're going to use throughout this entire build for all the windows is the dark stained glass panels, not the glass blocks. So. You know, the best thing to do is, you know, when you're setting up your inventory here, is uh, just go ahead and get um, these items and try to just keep them there. Also, we're going to get um, the uh, stone buttons, and we're going to use the stone buttons and put one on each one of these to the left and right of the windows. Alright, so then we're going to do up down, upside down steps. 
And the reason I'm putting the block there first is so that I can set those steps in there upside down. Otherwise, they would want to, they would not go in the right way they want to set right side up. So after we do that, then we're going to go ahead and fill the rest in with the quartz blocks. And we want those little divots in there. And then we're going to go up. And we're going to go up three. Three blocks, quartz blocks. And then we will start our next set of windows. So we go up five. And then we'll be setting up our next window. Skip two, go up five, just like you did below. Then go three, go two, skip one, then go two. Then you're gonna go, I'm sorry, go three, and then you're gonna go up two at the end. And that's your second story. And you come across the top there, close it off, and then put your glass panes in there to make the windows. Yeah, this um, this build is going to be quite extensive, so this will take um, several videos to uh, cover um, the entire build of this. But you know, uh, let me know if you want to watch this, you know, in the regular series. If you want me to come back later and maybe do a, you know the full tutorial. Um, what I have chosen to do in this is. Uh, just basically, I'm gonna show you like one side and then I'm gonna like speed up the other side because like say to the left side, I'll show you how to do it. And then on the right side, it's basically the same exact thing, just reversed. So what I just did up there guys is I put um, on the left and right of the windows was an upside down porch stair. And then I just took a porch slab and um, put it in between the two quartz stairs. And then up here what I'm doing is the same thing we did below is on to the left and right diagonal blocks of each window, put an upside down quartz stair, and then we will fill the rest in with quartz blocks. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to finish up this top piece right here. And once again, we filled all those blank spices in with full quartz blocks. And down here, we're going to um, put some quartz blocks up. Oh wait, I don't think I did that right, hold on. Let me look. No, I believe I need to come in one with the quartz blocks on each side. That's right. All right, so. We're gonna come in one with each quartz block, not, not the quartz stairs. And then we'll go across the top with upside down steps. And then two uh, quartz slabs right there to top the door off. And then in front of that, oh yeah, we gotta put an uh, upside down stair on each side where they connect with them and make them do an archway. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a quartz pillar. And you want to go up on diagonal to the block you just placed. And then on top of that, we're going to finish it off with a Blocks. Well, no, I'm sorry. We're going to finish it off with the stairs. And then in between the stairs, I believe we're going to do the, the uh, slabs to make that little porch roof there. After that, we're going to come up here and go one more, um, two more rows of the porch blocks, and then come out one. We're going to do two layers of this quartz block all the way out to four, five. We're going to do, do it 
too thick all the way out. And we're going to come down underneath it here. And we're going to drop all the way down with a pillar. Now, as I'm doing this, you know, there may be some changes later on. And um, I encourage you to use your own creativity in this. Don't, you know, just copy what I'm doing. Um, try it with different uh, types of uh, stone. Try it with um, different types of uh, window decorations. Uh, you're only limited by your imagination. So, you know, get creative when you're building these things. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube and um, those are just meant to be a guideline. They're not, they don't want you to, to completely copy their stuff. They want you to say, this is the way I do it now. Here's the basics. Go and create your own thing. And I, I totally encourage that creativity. So what, what I just did there was kind of put the decorations in the front with the whole block. Right now I'm putting a you know, um, quartz block and then the, the uh, slabs there to make it look. Um, whoops. See what I did here, guys, is um, I didn't go out far enough. I need to, I have to rework this entire thing and because it's supposed to have two spaces right there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I have to go over here and completely redo all of this. Didn't have a blast. No problem, I won't take long. Just take all this out. You're gonna make mistakes and don't get discouraged. Just, you know, take it out and redo it real quick. You know, and that's a good thing in creative. You're not really wasting materials because you got you got an infinite supply of them. So what I did there was I didn't go out far enough with this top layer. So. I think it was five and I only went four. So you just add your one more and then do all that over again. And count four, go down with another one. Nope, I don't think I put that one. Okay, there we go. Count four and go down. I only counted three. And then one, two, three, four, down on the fifth one. And then one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one, down. Now, you go ahead and do your decorations again. You do one, one, one over each pillar. Then you do your steps, your slabs. And then down here, we're going to do our buttons on there for decoration. And right here, we're going to do upside down steps upside down steps slab 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 and over here now see how this works out better now you do that that and then just upside down step upside down step slab slab like you did in the front do the same thing on this side Bang. Alright, so this right here is our completed entryway to our mansion. So what we're going to do now is we come over here and we're starting the left side of our building. So, I believe it's eight out that way, four, ten maybe. And four back up, then eight more. Yeah. All right. So it's eight, four down, ten across, four up, eight to the end. And then we're going to get some red brick here, and we're going to need red brick and red steps. 
Sorry about that, I got an email. And we're gonna go one line of red brick. And then at the end right here on the corner, you're gonna want to do, no, not like that, this other direction, facing me, there you go, is a brick step. And then we need to fill all this in with the red brick. Let me see a little speed here so I can knock this out real quick. And go all the way up to where the top of your um, entrance, the entrance part of it, quartz goes. Take your brick all the way up to the top here. All right, then you go back down and you're gonna add your steps. Uh, and make sure you don't do what I just did and put it, place them all upside down. And then you have to go back and redo the whole thing. And it gets annoying when you're trying to do that. So there we go, we got that. Now, oh, you know, what I should have done in the middle here is left that whole center piece open where it's um, two from the right and two from the left if you're counting your stairway, your uh, corner piece, and then just open it all the way up to the top. So on the next one, just just lay the, uh, the two on the right all the way up and then the two on the left all the way up. And then you'll see what I mean because we're gonna start filling in the windows. So we're gonna get material here to start the window and you're gonna go three up on each side and then you're gonna place a button on the middle one on the uh, second block on each side of your window. And come across with your concrete and then your glass and then place your buttons. Wait a minute, I'm not sure about them. Um, let me see here. And then you're gonna uh, decorate under each window with your quartz steps upside down, your two quartz uh, slabs. That's pretty much gonna be the theme throughout this whole build, the outside build anyway, is um, you're going to be using those underneath as a window sill on pretty much every window you do. Um, you know, I think I'm going to use uh, like a blue clay, I believe, right here instead of this um, stone because the button does not show up on the stone. It's the same color, so it pre pretty much just kind of disappears once you place it on the wall. Um, guys, this, I, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in know what you think of this series so far. Uh, I'm totally open to finding out ways to improve. Um, you know, I'm, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing and uh, I'm just pretty much doing this for fun. I, you know, I have no crazy expectations, but um, I really enjoy building in Minecraft and I enjoy, um, showing people what I've done so you know just taking it for what it is so then we're gonna come up here guys and we're gonna fill this in do the upside down stairs like we did on the other but we're using the brick now um, then we're gonna go three up just like we did on the other part and then in the center we're gonna go one two one one two and then one we're gonna go three up then come across with our brick um, Pretty much self-explanatory. Um, except on here, we're gonna put one solid brick over each window and then fill the rest in with steps. And we're gonna go three up. And then we're gonna go and do one four up, then two four up, and then one four up. And then come across with a brick. Same pattern. Um, you know, I'm sure you guys are plenty smart to figure out that this is not, um, hard to see the repetition and the, find the pattern in it. And so when you have a wall that's like 10, that is the best pattern to fit in there. 
Um, and then on these other two sides, you've got walls that are made across. And so the, both of those windows will, um, the pattern will repeat the same way. So that's what that looks like. Um, I've already done this other side over here. Basically, this is a little decoration you can do here to show you kind of making a, a little balcony here. And then that would be like the banister. You can repeat that on both sides. Um, that's about it, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm going to speed the rest of this build up. And um, so I'm going to speed the rest speed the rest of this build up. Uh, we're just going to basically repeat what we did over here. I'm just going to show you what the end product is. And guys, I'm going to ask you to, you know, give me some likes, uh, comment down below, uh, share this video with your friends so we can get it out there and, you know, build this channel up. And please stay tuned for the next episode on uh, Monday coming up for episode four of Building Cartopolis. Thank you.